Hey guys, Carl here. I want to talk to you about the difference between wheel spacers and wheel adapters and why one may be better than the other for your situation. First, a wheel spacer. These are generally used in cases that you run into a clearance issue on the inside of your tire or wheel. Maybe that new tire and wheel combo is rubbing on a shock or a leaf spring, or more commonly has some interference with the disc brake caliper, and all you need is just a little squinch of extra clearance. Now, wheel spacers are made in a multitude of thicknesses, so you and your new best friend, the tape measure, are going to have to figure out what you need. A couple things to remember. The thicker the spacer, the more you are pushing the wheel out into the lip of the wheel well, and the shorter your wheel studs will be. On that point, Wheel studs come in all shapes and sizes, so should you decide to install longer ones to achieve proper thread engagement, we'll need to know the thread size, the neural size where it presses into the axle flange or wheel hub, and of course the new length you'll need. As I've stated, wheel spacers come in many different thicknesses, so we'll also need to know not only that, but also what is the bolt pattern of your vehicle. Using that same tape measure, it's easy to find out. This diagram shows the measuring points of the popular bolt patterns you may be dealing with. Be careful to hook your tape measure to the outside of point A and measure to the center of point B. Using the proper terminology for a 5 lug pattern with a 4.5 inch measurement between points A and B would be stated as having a 5 by 4.5 inch bolt pattern. Given the many thousands of aftermarket wheel offerings and vehicles available today, it would be impossible for anyone but you and your tape measure to determine what wheel spacer will work best for your car. Wheel adapters, on the other hand, can be a little more complicated. Wheel adapters have one bolt pattern drilled into them that allows installation onto the vehicle's original wheel studs and a new set of wheel studs at the same or different bolt pattern as the original to allow your new wheels to bolt up. Technically, if both of these bolt patterns are the same, then all you have is a really thick wheel spacer, but don't let that confuse you. Wheel adapters are generally for the person trying to adapt a wheel to their car that may or may not have the same bolt pattern or offset. For instance, let's say you find a set of wheels from a late model Mustang that you just can't live without, but you want to install them on your early Mustang. Because newer cars have a deeper dish on the inside of their wheels, known as a positive offset, Due to its increased thickness, a wheel adapter has the potential to set the newer wheels in just the right spot in the wheel well. Let's talk a little about this thing called offset. Take a look at this diagram. Looking at a cross section of your wheel, draw an imaginary line right down the center. If the wheel mounting surface is pushed out away from the center line, towards the curb side of the wheel, this is known as a positive offset. Conversely, if the wheel mounting flange is moved inward, towards the brake side of the wheel, this is known as a negative offset. This is not to be confused with backspacing. Backspacing is the measured distance between the wheel mounting surface and the inboard edge of the wheel. As you can see, the measurements are not the same and can produce great confusion when trying to order the correct wheel adapters. A word of caution on both spacers and adapters. Because you're moving the wheels out and off the center hub, you will now be relying on your wheel studs and lug nuts to not only center the wheels, but also bear the load of the vehicle and its occupants and or payload. The use of conical seat wheels and lug nuts is preferred. The use of aftermarket wheels with slotted mounting holes will not run true going down the road and tend to feel out of balance. Because true spacers are generally only an eighth to three eighths of an inch thick, any material such as cast or billet aluminum or steel will suffice. But wheel adapters are a little different. They are generally anywhere from an inch and a quarter to two inches in thickness, and due to vehicle weight and usage, one should only consider billet aluminum or steel construction for safety's sake. Of course, we can help you with all your part needs or questions. Give us a call.